So in this video I have the possibility to show you at the same time the rear side of the battery and the front side of the battery. We're talking about the Tweezy's battery, that's why I'm not wearing my gloves. It's not dangerous but uh, you have to be careful, always. On the front side we see the BMS right there. The BMS it's not a spare part so if that breaks you can you can find it uh, as a spare part so you can buy it new. Uh, you will have to find it second hand if it's possible. Mm, it's a mess if that broke that breaks. On the lower side we have the charging plug. Uh, as you saw on my uh, older videos, it can break, the damage is it's, uh, physic, it's, you can see it, it's visible. Um, some kind of black spot on the positive pole, you will have uh, burned plastics, so uh, you will see it, no problem. To change it, uh, have, you have to open the battery. On the rear side, uh, as you can see, we have more components. Uh, I already explained uh, on my older videos how this battery works. We will do a little chat about this. This is the relay I was talking about one week ago. As you saw, this breaks a lot. Um, the car doesn't charge and uh, when you're on the road will uh, will make you uh, the car will stop uh, you will see all the lights on the dashboard uh, and then it will restart uh, but you will have uh, so much troubles charging the car uh, this little guy right here i already showed you how to test it uh, you have a 12 volts coil right here and you have to insist on the tests, you have to make so many tests. This one, uh, it's a normally opened relay, so uh, sometimes uh, it remains closed. Uh, right here we have uh, a 15 amps fuse, it's, uh, it belongs to the charging system. The charging system goes through here and then all the way back the charging plug this is the positive pole uh, right here we have a crossroad we have uh, a big fuse that uh, goes to the big power relay also has a 12 volts coil but uh, this one I never saw one broken so I think they are pretty reliable there's a little relay right here that uh, has to do with the 12 volt circuit like this fuse right here you have a little fuse right here but in reality it's a diode you will also check this when you have problems uh, so i think that's about all on the rear side we, you have the big plug right here this one uh, uh, it's connected to the sevcon and the communication port right here this communicates with the rest of the car. You will find this kind of plug on the charger, you will find the bigger one on the Sevcon. Uh, so, um, I, I think I will go further. If uh, you have any questions, uh, if uh, you need more details on how to test these components, I'm always available.
Well, from a fast test, I found out that they're both broken, but that's normal. That's why they're in my garage, because they're broken. Uh, after I will connect them to the can clip and uh, to the computer to see the state of health of the cells. So uh, I will I will insert new cells where uh, needed, and I will change all the bro broken parts. Meantime, I will go further with the Tweezy project. You remember the the Tweezy project from zero to Tweezy. I'm working a lot lately on this one, working, I'm having fun, <laughs> right, right here you see I have a drive shaft that I have regenerated, this is the result before and after, the regenerated one it's uh, much more quieter, you, you, don't, uh, you don't hear any more noises when moving. Uh, back and forward the, the, the transmission system here so uh, I used uh, some uh, special grease in there I, uh, I cleaned it all up I used some grease but I also inserted um, um, a very dense oil after that I put, I, I put in a new gasket a new accordion gasket the rubber gasket you see here is new. Uh, I I also painted the. I had to clean it first and then paint it. The, these pieces here, so they have a nicer look. So this is the result before and after. Right here I have the rear brake caliper that's waiting to be reassembled. I have new gaskets. I have new brake pads, right there you see the regenerated uh, rear shock absorber discs. So I, I also, when I will have a little time, I will install, I will finish the rear drivetrain. And uh, nothing, see you in the next episode. Well, let's dive into the Tweezy's battery. As you can see this one it's disassembled, it has 7 main packs that look something like this. They used these steel plates right here to do the series system between the main packs. Then we have a main negative pole that ends up with this current sensor. Uh, I never mentioned this because it never breaks. We have a passive type BMS from LG. Looks something like this. And getting to the main pack, uh, uh, they built this uh, using other free little packs uh, that are formed with uh, LG X L3 cells. Uh, those are 3.7 volts cells and uh, in this main pack they work like this they um, they have a series point right here uh, and we have about uh, 4.10 volts here and that's half of the pack and the other half other uh, 4.10 so in the end we have an 8.20 volts right here um, this one right here, it's uh, the connector uh, uh, of the BMS. Every single packs, every single pack has one of these, and uh, we also have a temperature sensor inside. That's uh, for the safety of the pack. Um, uh, right here, uh, as I was telling you, it's uh, the point where they did the series between uh, this half and this other one. Um, these are um, uh, this group right here. It's uh, 41 amps, uh, and if you take the 8.20 volts that we have here in the end, and you multiply that by seven. Uh, you will get the Tweezy's final voltage. Uh, um, 
using uh, the original BMS uh, you cannot change these uh, values right here because uh, uh, this BMS right here has to work with these voltages and uh, these uh, uh, amps right here. If not, if uh, if not recognized uh, by the BMS, uh, will not work. So uh, you cannot use uh, bigger cells. Uh, you could use uh, newer types that uh, have a better uh, current density so uh, you could uh, get a little more uh, out of this battery but uh, you will have to stick with uh, with uh, the original values so hoping uh, I was cleared uh, I will I will go uh, further